I just want to say that we're all going to go Davin, Rosh Hashanah, Kirachim, Avabonim, Kain, Tirachim, Hashem Aleinu. And that means that the way that a parent has mercy and loves their child, that's the way we want Hashem to have mercy and love us. And what I'm going to have in mind is you parents. I'm going to say, I want Hashem, please treat me like the TP parents treat their kids. Right? That's what, like you said that someone told you that your son, you got your son, right? Because you're his best friend. Because you understand him. We say, Ki ata yitzram, right? We want Hashem, know, know us, know us, right? I'm davening kirachim of abanim, which parents? The ones who throw their kids out of the house and they say, I can't look at you, you're too disgusting for me. Nobody wants that treatment from Hashem. Kirachim of, like you parents, abanim, the way you're treating your kids, the way you believe in them, the way you suffer for them, and you take embarrassment for them, and you swallow even though you're right, and you're there because you just want to save them more than anything, and you'll give up everything in the world to save your kid. That's the kind of rachmanis kirachim avabanim kein terachim Hashem aleinu. That's what I'm hoping for. That's what Reb Chaim Chernovitz said. He said, Hashem, look, I have a son who's off the derech. I have a son who's, who's embarrassing me, and everybody wants me to throw him out. But I'm going to treat him with, with just toiv and chesed. And if I can do it, you can do it. And that's a tefillah that only you parents have that kayach tefillah that nobody else in the world does. If you're in this group, that means that your counterparts would have thrown their kids out. If you're in this group, that means your kid is causing you so much agmas nefesh and money and time and effort and busha and energy and you're smiling and saying, this is what I am going to do to save my kid. I don't care about anything. You have the kayach tefillah that nobody else in Klal Yisrael has. And there's no answer to that. Because if the tzaddikim say, please give Klal Yisrael shefa, the malachim could say, they don't deserve shefa. But here, your tefillah is, what does it have to do with deserving? I don't, my kid doesn't deserve. It's not about deserving. It's about, I'm a father. I got to save my kid. I got to be there for him, whether he deserves it or not. I got to carry him. I got to gift him and gift him and gift him and gift him. I don't care about if on the books the cheshwin makes sense. My accountant says, you can't spend so much money on this kid. I'll find another accountant. You know, they say a good accountant, you ask them when you interview your accountants, you say, what's two plus two? Four. That's a good accountant. A better accountant, what's two plus two? What do you need it to be? That's a good accountant, right? Din and Cheshbin, Din and Din v'cheshbin. That's what's coming. Din v'cheshbin. Hello, let's. We could play around with the books. The Medrash says that the same way that we love our children, Hashem loves us. And the Zayir Hakadosh says, Netzach rechimui dibanui lurechimui didina. Five words. This is a get out of jail free card. Netzach rechimui dibanui lurechimui didina. Listen to this. I love. Mishpat, Hashem says, I love Mishpat. How do you know Hashem loves judgment? And the Hashem, I have Mishpat. Says, Hashem loves Mishpat. But there's only one thing in the world more that, that Hashem loves more than, than Mishpat. You know what that is? Us. Netzach, Rechimu Debanui, the love that Hashem has for His children is Netzach, Dida Netzach, conquers Rechimu Dedina, the love that He has for judgment. So Hashem says, yeah, I like judgment. You do the crime, you do the time. You did an Aveira, you have to get punished. But I have one thing that I love more than justice. My children. That's what you have in common with Hashem. You see, Hashem, we're the same way. Right? He did this Aveira and this sin, and then he sold a credit card, and he did, bashed up the cars, and, and Al Pidin, I should throw him out of the house. But he's my son. The way I would treat anybody else in the world, you're right. An employee who steals from me, out. Somebody who embarrasses me in shul, out. A fret, you're right. But he's my child. And Hashem, you said, Banim atem Hashem aleikeichem. Right? That means that it's forever no matter what. So look at what I'm going to do. And we can teach Hashem. Mide connected mide. The Baal says, Hashem tzilcha. God is your shadow means that just like you can control your shadow, I'm controlling my shadow on the desk right here. You can control Hashem. 
the way you treat your children is the way Hashem treats you. The way you deal with other people, that's the way Hashem treats you. And that's why the Kedusha Slavi said, if you want to be Zaycha Bedin, to walk in, nobody comes in Rosh Hashanah and says, I would like justice, please. I feel I did really well this year. No mercy. Now you look at the Slichas, right? We are horrible. You are great and merciful and wonderful. And we are, ay, 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 ay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you, you want Hashem to say, I, I know you're good. I know you want to be good. It's okay. Come, have a good year, even if you didn't deserve it. You use my money to sin against me. You use my life to sin against me. You use my energy I gave you to sin against me. Everything that I gave you, you used to sin against me. Don't you feel like that, parents? You stole my credit card. You stole my money. You took, my, a, guy, you took a car. He got a nice car, a Tesla, on his father's name. Why not? Right? You also want to get a Tesla on Hashem's name. We also want to get stuff on Hashem's name. I wasn't Zoyche. You're getting Bana, Chaim, Zoyne, You're going to have Mitzvah life and health. Health is not a Tesla. We need so much. Nachas. We need everything. Money. Everything. Hashem, we say, listen. Please treat us the same way. The love that you have for your children should conquer the love, but not if you don't treat your kid that way. That's what Chaim Kohn said when he's here. He said, you want rachamim? You want rachamim from your father? Do you give your children rachamim? That's the way it goes. That's what the Kedusha Slavi said. Your, your judgment, titen l'cha, it's given over to you. The way you judge other people with ayin toiva, you see a guy, Michal Shabbos, you say, he must really have had a hard life. I feel bad for him. I want to go give him a hug. And you don't say, you got to get the garbage out of town. Ugh, look at those shkutzim. It's up to you. Says the Kedusha Slavi. If when you look at other Yidin, you see good, and you have rachamim, and you have love, and you're down like Havzchus, and you just have an ayin toiva, Guaranteed, mishpat tzedek, judge the nation. You should judge the nation of Klal Yisrael with staka. You know what happens? Guaranteed, zakai bedin, because you're going to write the method that they're going to use in Shemayim to judge you and your family. Isn't that cool? Hashem says, "How would you like me to? You know, everyone has sins and everyone has mitzvahs and averus and all of that. Well, how much mercy would you like?" Says the Kedusha Slavi, the way that you have mercy on other people. You see a person does a bad thing, instead of talking bad about him and lashing hara and telling, barreting him and throwing him out, you say, he probably had a hard life, maybe he needs some help. I'm sure he means well. Being down l'kav s'chus, midah k'neged midah, Hashem is down you l'kav s'chus. You know what the Medrash says? That Hashem goes into the accounting department in the middle of the din. And he sees that his delicious child Shmiel Nuchem is being judged, and they're adding up on the scale. How do you say scale in Yiddish? The Vukshul. Right? The Vukshul. Okay, they're adding up, and, and it's not looking good. Hashem walks into the accounting department and he says, Oy vey, they're about to put on another sin, and another sin, and another sin, and this guy, my dear son, is going to go straight, he's going to lose. Says the Medrash that sometimes, you know what Hashem does? He distracts the Malachim. I don't know what he says to distract them, but he says he distracts them. He's like, hey, is that a spider? They all turn. <laughs> and he takes off one of the Averis from the Vukshul, and he puts it under his cloak. And he puts, he puts it under his cloak, and he says, okay, guys, I'll see you later. It says that the Mamish, that's Nasasa Avoy Namecho Kisisa. I forgot the rest of the Pasuk. Look it up. It's in GPS. I quote it. Right. Okay, you guys know. He covers it up and, he's, and he makes, because he's on our side. But who is he going to love more than you guys? Who a whole year, how many times throughout the year do you want to say, I'm done, enough, enough, enough is enough. It's time to sing the Ad Khan song. Ad Khan, 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 the Ad Khan song. And what do you say? No, more Rachamim. More Erech Apayim, more Rav Chesed Vemes. I'm going to use the Midas of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. He doesn't deserve it. He doesn't deserve it. And Hashem says, you know what? You don't deserve it either. I'll treat you the same way. 
So that's what I'm going to be feeling when I go Rosh Hashanah. I'm going to say, Hashem, Kirachim of Albanim, which, which of, which of us, which mothers, which fathers, which mothers? This group right here. That's why I hope that Hashem will treat me the way you treat your children. You don't give up on them, and you trust them, and you believe in them. Do you know that not in our group, I don't know if you heard, there's some people who are not part of our group. Did you hear that? And it's, it's interesting. And they have children who are in the same situation as you. And do you know how many of them are in the psych wards? Your kids are all home. You know how many kids are in the psych wards? We've never put one kid in a psych ward. Do you know how bad the food is in the psych ward? Your kids are home. In their heim. That's what the Spinka Rebbe said. Aber in their heim. Repair Spinka. But he's this, but he's Machal Shah. Aber in their heim. Have him at home. Your kids home? Baruch Hashem, your kids are, are home. And we have to wait, Mirza Hashem, that every kid should be home in the whole Klal Yisrael. Because we don't, we don't throw the kids out. We don't close the door on them. Now, some of us did, and we're going to win them back. That's the plan, right? But yeah. TP? No way. We don't have one kid homeless. We don't have one kid in jail. A Rav came over to me. So which, which uh, cops do you work with? Which cops uh, do you know? You know, I have 300 families here of most of our kids are delinquents, you know. I don't know, that's like a negative name to it. I think they're just, you know, they're just making it work, you know. We have creative, right? <laughs> creative solutions. <laughs> creative solutions, you know. But we have a lot of, we have drug dealers, we have some guys doing, you know. We have, and I'm like, I don't know any police. I don't know any cops. He's like, how could you not know cops in the system? Which Hatzalah guys do you know? I'm like, chas v'shalom, if somebody needs Hatzalah, you know. We don't put kids away. We're not, and Baruch Hashem, we have to hope more and more and more and more that we should be zeichet to tremendous rachamim. We really have to be zeichet to rachamim. But everybody here, I think almost, right? Kids are home, right? Since you start TP, kids are home. They, you give them a hug and you say, I'm so happy you're home. I'm so happy you're home. Because the street is a terrible place and being on their own is a terrible place. So Mitzvah Shem will be home also. Okay? We're just starting. We're just, we're, you're just starting. But everyone else here, Whoever came earlier, enjoy the, time <laughs> enjoy the quiet. <laughs> You're a bad influence. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It is hard. It is so hard. There's nobody that has a hard time like we do because other parents, they don't put up with this. But, but they're burying their kids. You know, there's a, there was another, another death today. Another, another overdose today. Another overdose today. We have, this is what we're up against. a crazy world. It's a crazy world. Whoever heard of Jewish children, Haimish kids, that are dying from suicide and overdose? It's a crazy, crazy world. That's what we're up against. So, the Ebesh is a health that we should all have a Ksiv of Simataiva. You should be Zaycha to Nisim, Gluyim. All of your kids should be alive and healthy and clean and become normal and functional and all the way, all the way, all the way, all the way, and from Be'ezus Hashem, and they should give you a lot of Yiddish and Nachas. They will support you. They'll definitely support you. It's a good investment. They will support you one day. <laughs>